G'day and welcome, my name's Matthew. In this video, I'll be introducing the Leadshine hybrid servo motor, also known as a closed loop stepper motor and the hybrid servo driver that have been provided by CloudRay Laser. The motor I'm using today is a 573 HBM20-1000. It's a three phase NEMA 23 motor from Leadshine. I'm also using the Leadshine hybrid servo driver model HBS57. The advantages of hybrid servo motors is that they have the feedback encoder on the motor and that allows the motor to communicate with the drive regarding position or missteps and this eliminates the loss of synchronisation. The hybrid servo drive controls the required amount of amps uh, to the motor by increasing or decreasing it as needed. So if the motor is not in motion then the amps drawn by the motor are then reduced and this results in lower operating temperatures and they run cooler than open loop stepper motors. They're also capable of higher torque and higher speeds and they have a smoother motion and they're much quieter than open loop steppers. So here we have a NEMA 23 closed loop stepper motor and on the back here we have the encoder which makes the physical dimensions of it compared to a standard NEMA 23 motor of the same specifications quite a lot larger. So basically we have the stepper motor size plus the extra encoder on the back. So open loop stepper motors compared to hybrid servo motors, well the open loop stepper motors are normally cheaper than the hybrid servo motors and this makes them a popular choice for the budget of hobbyists. Now if open loop steppers miss a beat or they reach their access limit, there's no communication with the driver to identify or correct, so that results in the loss of precision. Now the supply of amps is continuous to open loop motors and these motors can then overheat with that constant current draw. So in this scenario here I'm using my desktop power supply which is supplying 24 volts. Now the motor is not under any load and is in a stationary position and you can see there that the current draw is only about 0.46 or 0.47 amps. If the motor was moving then the current draw would be larger and therefore we'd see if we go quite fast it draws about 0.6 amps when it's not under any load. Now the encoder is constantly communicating with the driver and therefore if it requires more amps then it will supply the motor more amps and as we can see here I'm going to put some load on this motor here it's currently sitting at 0.46 amps if I also put pressure on this wrench we'll be able to see that the amperage is increased as the motor and the encoder try to get back to the position where the motor is supposed to be in stationary so the more that I put pressure on or resistance on the motor the more amps are increased and as you can see there it's fighting against me to bring it back to that position. If I was to put too much load on this motor then it would alarm. So what I'll do here is go at least about quarter of a turn and you'll notice that it would cut power to the motor and that the uh, driver would alarm and the motor would stop. Some other advantages of hybrid servo motors is that no tuning is required and they're always stable. They're quick response with no delay and almost no settle time. The high torque at low starting speeds and a high stiffness when they're at standstill. Now they also offer servo like performance but a much lower cost than actual servo motors. So we're going to have a look at the speed torque curves for the hybrid servo motor versus the open loop stepper motor. Now these are measured at 45 volts on the uh, right hand side here. So we'll have a look at the uh, red line from both charts. On the hybrid servo drive we can see here between 60 RPM and approximately 300 to 400 RPM the uh, torque is approximately 1.8 Newton meter. Now on this side we have the uh, speed even between 0 and 400 RPM is still well below the 1.8 of the hybrid servo drive. We have lower torque starting at approximately 1.62 and it drops away quite fast until we get to 600 uh, RPM and it's already at 1.2 Newton meter. Compared to the hybrid servo drive at 600 RPM we're still at 1.5 Newton meter. And as you can see we have a gradual decrease compared to a uh, rapid decrease on the open loop stepper motor. So we can see that at the 2400 RPM the torque of the open loop stepper motor is about 0.3 Newton meter and uh, on this chart we have a 2400 revs on the hybrid servo drive is still well over uh, 0.4. 
Another advantage of closed loop stepper motors are that they are much quieter than the regular open loop stepper motors. Now as an example I'd like to use this machine that I built for comparison. Currently the original NEMA 23 open loop stepper motor is installed on the X axis. So for this test I've disabled the fans, pumps, chiller and laser so that the only noise recorded will be the movement of the X axis. I'll also take a few readings from a sound meter and compare those after we've uh, installed the closed loop stepper motor into the same axis of this machine. The program that I'm running is uh, going to be uh, about 500 millimeters a second and just moving along the X axis. So I've completed the installation of the hybrid servo drive and the closed loop stepper motor in this machine and we're going to run that same test again at 500 millimeters a second. Now if you have changed over motors in your machine it is important before you go this far to actually calibrate and set up that axis. I've already calibrated and set up the axis so let's do that test. You'll notice that most of the noise is generated by the actual movement of the uh, carriage along that rail. So we've got noise from the bearings, but very little noise coming from the motor itself. If I compare that to my previous recording, I can see that I've reduced the decibels by approximately 20. Now there's two LEDs on the hybrid servo drive, a green and a red. Green is for power provided to the drive, and the red will flash when there's an error. If the red light flashes once with a long delay, that indicates that there's an overcurrent protection. If the red uh, LED flashes twice with a long delay and then twice again, that is an overvoltage protection. And the third, which is seven blinks rapidly with a short delay and then seven again. And that uh, indicates that there's an alarm for the positioning of the motor. Now we'll look at the wiring configuration for the hybrid servo closed loop stepper motor and driver. At the back of the motor here we have the encoder which has these two leads attached to it and uh, the first lead here is the feedback lead and that's connected via the extension cable to the feedback connection on our hybrid servo drive. The second lead that we have coming out of the back of the encoder contains the wires from the phases within the motor. In this case it's a three phase motor and we have the three, phase, uh, three wires coming out here which is the brown, blue and black. They are connected to the connections here, U, V and W. Now the connection uh, orientation is provided on the side of the motor or you can check the technical data sheet for your motor for the wiring color configurations of these connections. In this case, this motor has U as brown, V as blue and W is black. Next to that we have the voltage input, the voltage positive and the ground connection that is provided by your power supply. Now the voltage range for this hybrid servo drive is 18 to 50 volts. The typical voltage that you'd run this at would be 36 volts. So we have the positive and the ground connection there. Over here on this servo drive we have the signal connections which has got our pulse positive and negative and our direction positive and negative. Now they get connected up to the axes on your uh, CNC laser machine. So for example, if I was to use this as the Y axis, I would connect that to the Y axis connection on my controller board. As you can see here, the positive connections from the pulse and direction are connected into the positive connection on the controller. And then the pulse and direction negative connections each have their own separate connection. So down here we have our pulse positive and, po and direction positive connected through to our positive connection on our controller and the two negative connections for pulse and direction go to their uh, respective connections on the controller. There are two dip switches on the HBS57 hybrid servo drive. Uh, switch one is used to activate the edge for the digital input. So the uh, off means rising edge and on means falling edge. So a signal is the transition of a digital signal from low to high, so 0 to 1, or from high to low, 1 to 0. The running direction is uh, switch number 2, and switch 2 can be set to off for counterclockwise and on for clockwise. An RS-232 RJ11 connection can be purchased separately 
to configure the enable and alarm signals on your CNC software. On the signal connection of the HBS57, the enable positive and enable negative are used to enable or disable the driver. So default is that they're unconnected and the motor and driver are enabled. This is software configurable using the RS-232 connection. The alarm terminals also send a signal to CNC software and is configurable using the RS-232 connection. By default, we don't have these connected for the CNC laser machine. I won't be going into further detail on the enable and alarm terminals on the hybrid servo driver. If you do require this, then I recommend you contact Leadshine or your hybrid servo software manual for more details. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I release new videos. I'll leave a link to Cloudray Laser's website in the description below along with other links to the products that I used. And until next time, take care. Cheers.